Welcome to my domain. This is where I converse with Corey, our the, the man, you know, the brains behind Fighter for Love uh, fan dubs. Um, on a daily, well, almost semi-daily basis as we uh, discuss how things are going with our current projects and whatnot. Anyway, so, well, we're not here to talk about that. Although, I must admit, knowing Corey for so many years that I have, over ten years now, it's a privilege. <laughs> He's a cool guy. As you can tell, this very piece behind me was made just for me. I guess you can tell who's my favourite is. <laughs> anyway, enough small talk. We're here to build a computer. And a big computer at that. Project Sonic. The fastest thing alive. This is just some of the parts for Project Sonic. Here we're going to enter a bit of a geeky area. For those who are not that into computers or don't know much about them, I'll explain them on the way. First off, we have almost, well, you could almost say it's the nerve center of a computer. This is the Gigabyte Z68X UD5B3 motherboard. Unprecedented performance in both hardware and stability. The Gigabyte Z68 motherboard is one of the best on the market. Best value anyway, you know, best value bang, bang for buck basically. It has a special hybrid EFI technology BIOS. Now, and a few other little bits and bobs that make it so awesome. Now, the motherboard, like I said, is mostly the brains, well not the brains, the nerve center of a computer. It handles everything. It handles things from your, the brain, which is the central processing unit, it handles power regulation, memory allocation, graphics card allocation, all sorts of stuff like that, all on the fly. Next we have the power supply. This is what draws power from your power grid to your computer. This is a thermal take, Tough Power XT, 875 watt power supply. This 875 watts is enough to power a machine, you know, this is the Thermal Take Tough Power XT 875 watt power supply. This power supply is so powerful, I could run two of my current machine, which is about half as good as what this one's going to be, off it. That's how good it is. Thermaltake make great products, uh, stability, uh, accurate power draw, all that kind of stuff. Next we have down here, the RAM or random access memory. Here we have, as I hold it up, 16 gigabytes of G-Skill DDR3 1066 no, yeah, 1066 RAM. As you can see, there is four sticks. RAM is like, well, memory. It's the memory of the computer. It's basically what stores everything in real time. So, the motherboard, or the main board, processes everything from the central processing unit, then gets stored into memory, and it reads back and forth, back and forth, really quickly, grabbing and storing data. Next, the processor. This is an Intel Core i7-2600 measuring at 3.4 GHz with an LGA-1155 socket. The Intel Core i7 is one of the fastest processors you can buy on the planet. The 2600 series, however, is especially unique because it has special graphics acceleration system which you can run dual graphics on board and via your external graphics card. Next up we have 
the graphics card. This is a Gigabyte AMD Radeon HD 6950 1GB PCI Express graphics card. This graphics card, as you can see, comes pre-overclocked from the factory. It also wins PC Authority Highly Commended Manufacturer Award for 2011. This graphics card will be enough to, th to process on the fly real time editing of 1080p high definition video. This video, high definition video at 1080p is almost, is pretty much Blu ray quality. Maybe a little bit less. But that Blu ray quality, you ask? Well, that brings us on to our next item with some screwdrivers nearby. This is a Blu ray reader. This Blu ray reader can support 3D movie playback. It also does DVD reading and CD reading. It can also write CDs and DVDs, but not Blu rays. It can only read Blu ray discs. And, la and the last thing for the hardware is this the hard disk. This hard disk is a Western Digital Velociraptor. Sorry, I have to read that again. This hard drive is a Western Digital Velociraptor 300 gigabyte, 10,000 RPM. 10,000 RPM is almost double your conventional hard drive. Thus, loading software like Sony Vegas and other applications, you'll be able to load them in a quarter of the time, if that. Now the last item, as we come down here, the chassis, or the case. This is a Cooler Master CM690 Series 2 Advanced. This case is one of the best ventilated cases on the market. There's really not much else to say about the case. There is four, there is four five and a quarter inch drive bays and six three and a half inch hard drive bays, as you can see there. You have your five and a quarters and your three and a halves. The power supply, if we can focus, okay we can't focus on that. The power supply sits on the bottom of the unit. Now the benefit of having the, the power supply on the bottom of the unit is that exhaust from underneath can draw the air back under the case and out again as opposed to going through all the equipment up to the top. So now you've seen the bits and pieces of the computer. What do you do next, Pip, you ask? You put it together. Let's go. Blue Streak speeds by Sonic the Hedgehog
get ready. Is how you do it. That was hard work. That was non-stop recording too. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to quickly do is we're going to clean up the desk, clean up these boxes. As you can see, there's quite a lot of junk to put away. So we're going to put these boxes away, clean it up, hook it up, show you how to hook it up and we'll fire up for the first time. Okay, we're here, we're cleaned up, and we're connected. As you can see, in the top port we have USB. Not exactly sure why the first one won't go in, but what the hell. No, okay. Okay, so as you can see, we've been cleaned up, and we're ready to go. Now we've got USB, we've got the keyboard plugged into the first one. Second USB is plugged into here, Got the LAN port plugged into the LAN, speaker out, 
power and power. Oh, sorry, video and power. Okay, now let me just pick up my speaker that I dropped. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now, this switch here, flip it on. You see we've got a red light in there. Now what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to actually open this up. Because there was a few lights in here that we really wanted to look at. So let's have a look. Alright. We have a big blue power button. We have a red LED there. And we've got an LED here that says standby. That standby button basically means that it's ready to go. I did a quick final check. And here is the power button. Lots more lights have lit up. <laughs> we've got one, we've got someone there, we've got blue ones, we've got red ones, and we've turned off. That's just doing an initial restart. It's just detecting what's there, see? We've got big blue LED fan on there, we've got a blue light there, we've got some red ones and green ones, we've got green ones here. We've got everything, and... Is this going to light up? I hear a beep. We are live, people. We are live while I mash the delete key to get into our... EFI BIOS and that is a running computer so I'll be right back quickly while I put this back on and move it so we can see the screen well we're just about, we're just about finished now Windows is uh, Windows 7 is installing as you can clearly see here well we don't want to boot off the disk drive do we we want it to go ding and on to the next bit as you can see nice and speedy and quick and stuff well kind of all the drivers aren't installed yet so it'll naturally run a little bit slower than normal but it'll be fine anyway that's project sonic done done and dusted i might do some more videos with some benchmarking very soon but we'll see how we go because i'm pretty tired right now <laughs> i've been up since 5 a.m no 3 a.m Anyway, see you later.